In the 1800s, Polish immigration to Pittsburgh was extremely high since the thriving steel industry allowed for them to work without needing to understand much English. Because of the high concentration of Polish people in that area, the neighborhood was labeled as Polish Hill. The impact of the Poles can be seen from the prevalence of food such as pierogi and kabasi to architecture such as the Immaculate Heart of Mary Church, where my parents actually got married. My Polish ancestors immigrated here in the early 1900s, so I've heard plenty of stories about our heritage and have eaten many of their favorites. One of these is the classic Prince Polo Bar, a candy that inspired our creation of this drink. Hi, I'm Ellie. And I'm Selena. And I'm Jenna. And, and we're representing Lothra Hall Council. Today we'll be making a hot chocolate drink that represents the Polish community in the city of Pittsburgh. And first things first, we're all going to wash our hands. After washing your hands, we're pouring in our sugar and cocoa powder base. Pour the desired amount of milk into your cup. And then heat it in the microwave for at least 45 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to pour the heated milk into the cocoa base. When we think of the different communities that come together to make Pittsburgh, the cocoa powder strongly resembles the communities and the liquid is the city. Okay, so now the next step is putting the whipped cream in the hot chocolate. Now, on a more serious note, since this is a non-alcoholic mix-off, we want to talk about some of the drawbacks of alcoholism. Studies have shown that alcohol abuse negatively impacts academic performance. Intoxication can negatively impact the brain's cognitive functions for 48 hours. So now we're going to add on some finishing touches to the whipped cream. Here you can see the Andrew crumbles and a Kit Kat, but the original Polish drink uses the Polish chocolate bar Prince Polo. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Next time you think about consuming alcohol, think about the better alternatives that you can have instead. See you next year!